Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, marking his country's 45th National Day anniversary. His Majesty the King wished the UAE President continued health and happiness and the people of the UAE further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King also underlined the prog progressing fraternal deep-rooted relations between the two countries and people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, marking his country's 45th National Day anniversary. His Royal Highness wished the President continued health and happiness and to the people of the UAE further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister went on to underline the progressing fraternal deep-rooted relations between the two countries and their people in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and to the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the UAE Armed Forces, his Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also sent similar cables to the UAE Supreme Council members and the Crown Princes marking the occasion. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness wished the President continued health and happiness and to the people of the UAE further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent similar cables to the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and to the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Similar cables were sent by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the UAE Supreme Council members and to the Crown Princes to mark the occasion. The United Arab Emirates marks its national day today, celebrating 45 years since the unification of the seven Emirates. More details in this report with Mohammed al shaban Grand celebrations are being held around the United Arab Emirates as the country celebrates its 45th National Day, a day celebrated on the 2nd of December of every year to mark the unification of the seven Emirates in 1971, forming the modern-day UAE. This unification was spearheaded by the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the country's first president. This historic launch was the fruits of the consensus of the rulers of the Emirates of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Ajman, Fujairah, Umm al Gawin, and Ras al Khaimah, and their agreement to unite to form the single entity. This agreement was forged in what is known as Union House, where the leaders met and hoisted the flag of their United Nation 45 years ago. Since the unification of the Emirates, the country has undergone major strides and countless achievements. The UAE ranks high in several development indices and enjoys a highly competitive economy, world-leading services and advanced infrastructure. The spirit of the Union, which continues to be celebrated throughout the UAE and the GCC region as a whole, has ensured the country's pledge towards ensuring a better future for the nation and its people, as the spirit of the Union continues to motivate the country and its people to work towards achieving the best for the country and the citizens. Bahrain, both leadership and people are also joining in in these festivities as we celebrate the strength of our brotherly relationship and extend our utmost congratulations and best wishes as a nation to the UAE and wish the country with its leadership and people continued progress and prosperity. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, patronized the 2016 Bahraini Women's Day celebration which was held in the Constitutional Court building in Manama. More details on this year's theme from Sara Lebrick. His Majesty the King and his wife, Her Royal Highness Chairwoman of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, have contributed and supported the initiative of women empowerment and reinforcement of equal opportunities to all. This support has led to active participation of females at high levels of competency in the fields of justice and law. Bahrain celebrates Women's Day on December 1st under a different theme every year. This year's theme is Women in Legal and Judiciary Fields. 
Well, it is our pleasure to, to celebrate the Women's Day here in Bahrain. Uh, I believe that it is an acknowledgement for all the uh, successful stories of Bahraini women. And we hope that uh, these kind of events continue during the, the year. Statistics indicate that about 447 female lawyers are registered in Bahrain, or 53% of the total number of lawyers. Bahraini women also make up about 10% of judiciary posts, including judges, court presidents, and members of the Constitutional Court. 5% of chief prosecutors in Bahrain are women. As for female judges and their equivalents, their number has risen to 21 over the past five years, marking an increase of 5%. I can't express my feelings. Uh, I'm really uh, thankful for Her uh, Royal Highness, uh, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, for celebrating this day for women uh, and legal and justice. And this will, lead, uh, this will lead us and encourage us to work harder in this field. This is Sarah Break for Bahrain International. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Sports and Youth Affairs, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, took part in the Ironman 70.3 Middle East Championship cycling race today. It was organized as a practice run for the Ironman 70.3 Middle East Championship, which is scheduled for December the 10th. The race took off from the Four Seasons Hotel, finishing at the Bahrain International Circuit, with over 300 cyclists taking part. The practice run was to allow the participants to get a first-hand feel of the track designed for the championship, as well as to test their readiness for the prestigious event. His Highness Sheikh Nasser underlined the remarkable progress in the performance of the athletes, their competitive spirit, and their eagerness to be involved in the next race. His Highness expressed appreciation for the efforts undertaken by the members of the organizing committee of the Bahrain Iron Man Championship, stressing that it reflects their determination to ensure the success of the championship. He also expressed his pride in the strong showing of Bahrain's children taking part in the event.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the 45th UAE National Day celebrations in Abu Dhabi. These celebrations, which were also attended by several heads of states, dignitaries, senior officials, and guests, included traditional, cultural, and military performances, showcasing the United Arab Emirates' growth and prosperity in different sectors. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated His Highness the President of the UAE, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the rulers of the other Emirates on the occasion of the UAE National Day. He expressed his deepest congratulations and wishes to the Emirati leadership to be blessed with health and happiness and for further progress and prosperity for the brotherly UAE citizens. His Highness praised the brotherly and historic relations that link the two countries and the development of both nations. He pointed out that the UAE National Day is an occasion where the glorifying march of the UAE is remembered as well as the Gulf nation's founders who placed aspirations for Gulf citizens to create one political entity brought together by a single history and identity with a common destiny. He added that the cultural growth and progress of the UAE is witnessed by all with admiration. He praised their internal and external policies as well as their leadership for achieving prosperity development and contributing to the strengthening of the region's economy, security and stability. His Highness added that the UAE continues with its steady development and growth in various fields to become a role model and pioneer in development. He attributed the cultural shift in the UAE to the safe planning of the wise leadership which made the country advance in all areas. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Use and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, Honorary President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association, Founder of Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mixed Martial Arts Organization, KHK MMA, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa witnessed the official weigh-in for the second edition of Brave Championship at the Orange Suite Hotel on Thursday with the participation of 20 global MMA fighters, including Bahraini MMA fighter Hamza Kohaji, of KHK MMA team. The weight check ceremony was attended by Mohammed Shahid, KHK MMA CEO, several technical and administrative members, and media representatives. His Honor Sheikh Khalid expressed his joy at attending the ceremony, which reflects the readiness of the fighters and showcases a strong competition between them. His Highness has expressed he trusts that the fighters will deliver the highest performances, which will further elevate the event and wished everyone luck in achieving their goals and aspirations. His Highness said that Bahrain's brave is global and is born to continue and spread in different countries around the world. Its aims is to compete with the strongest international organizations in the sport, which will have a positive impact on strengthening the kingdom's status on the global sports map. This will also reflect the efforts of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to strengthen Bahrain's position globally and showcase the develop developments reached in various sectors especially sports. His Honor Sheikh Khalid added that efforts in promoting Bahrain MMA will continue as Bahrain MMA has succeeded in imposing itself among the developed countries in record time. Thanks to the support and care by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also da added that it was achieved through the implementation of development plans and programs aimed to progress the youth and sports sector in Bahrain, which contributes in greater achievements. At the end of the examinations, the participants took a photo with His Highness Sheikh Khalid. <laughs> 